Well, it's Carletta. Hello, it's me, Carla. Sitting here, having a rest, bored him with iPad in hand and lots of pictures, so... <sighs> Gee, that looks pretty wild, doesn't it, huh? Yes, truly, the narcissistic, androgenic type guy. I know you are, John. You got a dual personality also. Anyway, I understand psychology. I studied psychology, biochemistry, and what's healthy and what's not. How do you like me so far? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, John, what are you doing? I don't know. Oh, somebody took a picture of me opening a cargo container up. Okay, good. Am oh, I major? Oh my god. Yeah, well, okay. Kind of random free association with pictures on iPad to play around and show. That's kind of cool. I look hot there, don't I, huh? Stretching. Yeah, I'm kind of stretching. Oh well. Outside, sun tanning. Yes. A very nice artillery piece I would like. Very big and heavy. 13 years ago. Oh, yeah, this one. Looks like I'd wheel it off the lot there, huh? Showing off my uh, new skirt off of eBay. Yeah, it looks good on me. I love it. Yeah, the skirt looks great on me. Another good shot of me. Ha, ha. Uh, some of the comments I get is um, the MK Ultra, the government's got me and altered me. <laughs> so these people are so stupid, it's unbelievable. Okay. Well, this is a good one to me, all dressed up, looking hot. What do you think? It's about ravens. I love all animals, and I have a chance to play with some animals called ravens that are very predominant here on the property. There's eight of them to 12 of them. They do make their rounds, and you've seen the videos on them. The little squirrel is still shy, and some of the cats are too. But the ravens are pretty bold. And it's a raven right here. On hot days, they love drinking. So make sure there's fresh water for them every day. And food. Now, this is a video I took of these characters. The Ravens. I got names for most of them. I got Grandpa. Watt. Foghorn. And looks like nothing's moving here. Hmm. Oh, something is moving. Okay, so Foghorn. <coughs> I hop it. Grunchy. Old fella. Leggy limp. Oh, here, who are these guys? Hmm. Is that debonair? Oh, how debonair I am. <laughs> they just love eating up stuff. You know, that's part of an old muffin. Actually, I ate it in a house. Share it with my buddies, so. That's what I did too, the other, just actually two days ago. And, um, you can see there, they <laughs> had fun eating that. That's black bucket. Yeah, it's full of fresh water every day. Oops, somebody snuck in there, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, who's that? That grandpa or somebody else? Yeah. Well, anyway. I'm going to move along to another video. Here's me. I look kind of hot, don't I? Huh? A lady friend dared me to do this one. Pose. And I did. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Microlathe. 
and they did make them. Looks cool, doesn't it? Wow, this is an uh, <laughs> interesting raven. Cartoon, I guess. A raven is launching himself to the water bucket and coming in for a landing on the water bucket. <laughs> Safely lands, of course, and getting ready to drink. Yeah, that's me in my miniskirt. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You're Charlie in his miniskirt. Looks good, I think. You're a little hottie out in the hot sun. Well, I guess Carla had a bad day. <laughs> oh, so much fun with funny pictures you get. Like random pictures. Well, duh. Somebody looks beat up. I do not. <laughs> Stop it! I'm trying to figure out where that was filmed. This is a cute shot. A debonair and, uh, well, old fella. Old fella's on the bottom looking up to debonair saying, Oh, do I count? It's so cute. When you look at this picture, you can tell quite a difference between these guys. This is quite a character raven. Definitely a raven. See the difference between the two ravens? This, they're all different looking and talk different too. These two guys, one is telling the other what to do, basically. Screenshots from on iPad. Here's a, a little gray squirrel, it's a very shy little guy. I might have to, yeah on a screenshot of him. He ran downstairs, then bumped into the ravens. The ravens took off and he took off. Then he returned to finish up a little bit. Okay, what's this all about? One minute and... Oh. Oh, this video, okay. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Forgot about this little video. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Okay, I have to say, filmmakers, why do they spend all day filming and never show anything? This is actually Richard Serret from Coast to Coast AM.com and the film crew in Gold Beach, Oregon. The next day, um, it was a couple of days later, we we're on Coast to Coast, 2017, with Richard Serret. But, what the happens to the video footage? Gee, man, like some film producers are pretty wacky. Uh, it's me taking a picture of myself in a mirror. Okay, well, this is back some years now. This is um, Entertainment Group Film Me, which did air, by the way. And somebody took that photo. And I actually forget who. One, two, three, oh, well, maybe the fourth film guy. Uh, somebody, Herman Zimmerman took a picture of Yin Gazda and myself on, we were guests of Star Trek. This is Quark Spar, Deep Space Nine, so I got, being a Trekkie, I thought I'd die and gone to heaven, I have to keep saying it all the time. But anyway, this was cool. This is Stargate SG-1 Studios. I had a lot of fun. They came around, picked me up, took me off for the entire day. I took a lot of photographs. Really fun times at Star Stargate SG-1 Studios in Burnaby, British Columbia. 
hot summer day a year ago. Oh, this whole thing. A ZB-37 heavy machine gun with all the parts and pieces in New Westminster, British Columbia. That was a nice old thing. Where, oh, this is last year, okay. Let's see, I'm organizing some stuff here. Oh, okay. Yeah, or the kind of cannon parts. Some of the old newspaper clippings, wow. Interesting statement, isn't it? <laughs> that was quite the adventure. Long time ago when the galaxy was young. I went on my case of suit and everything else. That's when I met Michael McArdle out of CTV News. Because there's a whole pile of other media, television media, radio media, that covered this for weeks, for almost two years. Pretty awesome. Here's me with a ZB-37 machine gun. Wow. Oh, I don't know. This is a TV program on... It mentions me in China somewhere. That was recently. So I don't know what's going on. I can't read Chinese. Okay, this is a countermeasure system. Electronic warfare room. I had the entire pieces two times over. Saskatchewan and HMCS Yukon aided me in doing my fun times levitating and blowing up metal. The antennas I have here now, and these are the control units for that countermeasure system. Cool. Yeah, it was February in Petaluma. Got to go to the gun store as well as the scrapyard there. I like smiling. Little Miss Bubbly. I'm disintegrating. Hmm. Fun times. <laughs> Wonder who that is. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Mr. Voltage, hi. I'm Mr. Voltage. Yeah, it'll be fun to see all the footage they cut out. Just to see what on earth I collected back then, huh? Yeah! Oh, it was some, something else. There's a ship there. Oh. That piece I actually took to Germany. Wow. High voltage spark. 25,000 volts at mini KVA. There you go. 
Ah, I look good there. <laughs> I look pretty cool there too, don't I? Huh? That was last year. Thursday, November 29, 2018. That's a news story. Wow. So, Anderson Valley. That was on the main newspaper. Hmm. And there's your truly in Scrapyard, Petaluma. A hot day. I am taking a nap. These are the cannons I worked on. Or warships, water-cooled. Three and seventy. I got some of the brass parts off of this guy. Very nicely engineered piece. This is a schematic of the entire area that I'd be working in. You have the shelves coming up out of the parts head. On your left hand side, solid brass piece goes into these racks underneath the cannon. And eventually work the way up into the cannon itself. 71,000 moving parts. Took me uh, quite a while to dismantle everything, but it was a lot of fun. Quite a beautiful piece of engineered stuff. Oh, I took this test. Uh, let's see, oh, 155, which means that you're within the following category. Cuts for probable transsexual. No, I'm not that. I'm just sort of in the middle, I guess. Okay. Picture of Mr. Alec in Greece, taking a part of warship. This is me in Japan with Mr. Hiroshi Amabi in the Hiroshima Laboratory, where we did a lot of weird stuff. That was a huge, big place. Wow, Japan, Hiroshima City. Sukio Makakari, we were guests of honor, Yin Gasta. Myself, Mr. Yamabi, my host of this temple, 40,000 people. Unbelievable times, with an honor guard all the way up the highway. Truly unbelievable. Lab set up by U.S. government folks to see what would happen, and nothing much happened. George Hathaway looks on in the government set up lab. Oh, my doctor, where I lived in Austria. Dr. Medical U and University Margarita Kokoschnik. Hmm. Mr. Alex Scrapyard, I bought most of these pieces. Hmm. Minor surgery. Oh well, that's just me dressing up, so what? Right? Dressing up, cross dressing, it takes a long time to, to look right. I do it most of the time half half assed and look terrible. But this was a a project to do. Uh, Mr. Alex Scrapyard. I would like to get one of those. Do send me a Bofors. Vintage, okay? Oh, more vintage news coverage. <laughs> State in the third millennium. A fan of mine sent me this, who wrote the book himself. I met him in 80, 1989. I haven't, recent contact, I don't know what's going on there, if anything. You're truly aboard a tourist submarine. Hey, looking hot, babes. 2018? Yeah. 19, 18, I think. This was, uh, Horrendous to see. This is a picture I took. The KOA Willits campsite. It looked like the end of the world was coming. This is the Paradise Fire. 
with Hiroshi and Mavi doing experiments. This is my mother. I think I take after her gen genetics. She is crazy like me. I, I don't know who this is. I know it's my relatives or me or something. I don't know. I just saw this picture here and it looks like it's on a Navy ship. It is. And oddly, I bought exact duplicate of this on eBay some years ago. Same kind of knobs, same bloody thing. How weird. Hmm, okay. Owner, the new owners of Wesley's Military Surplus Store. Newest venture, British Columbia. However, with friend Colleen and Colleen's daughter. That was sent to me a couple of years ago. Because I had a huge fire there in New Westminster. Here is the owner, the previous owner, Wesley Baker, uh, Westland Military Surplus. I've known him for about 20 years, ever since that kid bought a lot. This, he appears on Discovery Channel with with me. <laughs> oh, this was an amazing time. The USS Alabama War Memorial site was quite incredible. Okay, I have my coveralls on. I think this was HMCS Columbia or McKenzie or one of the four, four ships. But, aha! Picture I took a yin in Egypt. 1993 already. This is my dad as my lady there at the end Gaza at the time. Oh, I look so sexy there. Anyway, I'm going to end this little video. It's I'm just rambling on random pictures, so kind of like free association that psychologists use on people. Okay, shut up. I'll shut up and go.